Hello everyone, Seth here and welcome to the patch day, yeah! We got ourselves new champions, we got ourselves new relics and we got ourselves new stuff in general. So today we will be doing some initial testing, we'll be playing Arion 3 stars and uh, tomorrow we'll be doing uh, Heimerdinger. And as always, I'm gonna attempt level 1. If level 1 doesn't work, I'm gonna attempt like level 4 or 5, somewhere around the, along those lines. Maybe get an epic relic as well, but that's kinda... Uh, that's that's the current plan. Let's see how well we can do with just the Ari deck. And we are doing the free star constellation. We are not doing any of the extra stars because I am not buying any other resources. Uh, I did buy the pass, the pass is cool, so that's that's that. Uh, the starting deck should be enough. Uh, there are some cards that we could cut out, like Charm and Sparring Student, but we'll see how it goes. So, let us commence this attempt. Uh, there are a few ways that you could do... Uh, you could do this build. Okay, I see we are gonna start with some... Okay, I think this attempt might not be possible, but... We are gonna have and we're gonna wait and see what we can get. Disarm is really good, hold them off is great. So, but steady doesn't affect anything. I also have four rerolls, so... I think for this fight I might as well go disarmed. Uh, for this now, then, then we'll later see what we can get. There aren't that many uh, great things I would like to get in this this run, I think. This is still like initial testing. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, cut this, keep Ari. I should also equip the skin on this later. I completely forgot to do that. Homecoming will be useful against uh, Ash, so... Okay, that's a, that's a turn one at least, so that's nice. I could have even played Ari, but I think I wanna keep Ari for later. Uh, so my guess is, do you have anything to play? Okay, good. So the plan is to utilize these two, get some value out of them, and also because of the two stars, uh, we can generate large droplets, which will come in handy for a myriad of reasons. Also, I need to uh, make sure that I don't overdraw myself, which can be a real thing that happens. Uh, I'm expecting them to play something. Yeah. Uh, we could do... I don't think there is anything I want to do right now. I will probably just charm this. Uh, get an Ari again. And I can even make her this. Just to get... Uh, just to get some extra units on the on board. Especially since uh, Ash will be hitting next round. And... I need to make sure that I'm not... Uh, Yeah, that's one thing that I'm worried about, but I think we can just... We could even do this. Recall Ari again. Keep pumping up the effects. Also, why am I getting a one... Oh, right, because of the, the toaster power is really, really uh, strong this time around. And we're gonna keep it for the for one of the later turns. So right now we'll just probably play a stun here from Ari, just to prevent Asha from attacking. Shatter is annoying, so we can just blank this turn as well. The main issue here is that I can't really attack with Ari because her stats are too large, so uh, I'll probably have to wait with Ari for a turn and just play Ari next round. Uh, Droplet will get frozen, which uh, means Ash will level up. 
It's all good, I think. They will get the frostbite, which is annoying a little bit. Uh, but I think I can just play Ari, homecoming. Or they will just not play that at all. I can even just do this and win. Oh, never mind. I, I made a small misplay. Oh, do I want to? Oh, right, because I'm... I keep forgetting that this recalls as well. I forgot that they had the... Uh, that power. So, I kinda misplayed here. But we can play Ancient, recall this. And then just keep ho another homecoming for... When uh, Ash comes back, and they will probably do like... Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Crystal Arrow. I could even just homecoming now and have them replay Ash. And I'm at, I'm at good uh, position right now, so... I can even play Mr. Root. I'm at six cards. I still have one more Ari, so that's cool. Okay, I don't care. I do care about this, so we will first bite that. Uh, I could even do this and then just play and recall you. And this should be enough for for next turn to, to just lethal. So, interesting. Pretty interesting gameplay, even on level 1. Sprite dance is also very good because we can do. Uh, I can do sprite dance for Ari and just. Yeah, in case they have something like this. So the correct play is to sprite dance recall here and then put. Probably here? Doesn't really matter which one. But that's little. Yeah, Sprite Dance coming in clutch, so that's that's definitely a card that I was thinking about when I was uh, when I was looking over uh, the deck. That I was considering it to be pretty pretty good. Uh, Sentry would be really nice. Key Guardian doesn't matter. Replay Drex doesn't matter. So we're gonna keep you up. And from here we want some sort of. Stun or a recall, none of this helps, neither this. Um. Yeah, Yasuo, that's a good one. Uh, Ilaoi doesn't help, Victor doesn't help either. So we're gonna do Yasuo. And here we have unstable inventory, so we're, uh -huh, okay, so both are for NNG, which are not good. There are some item chests, but I think the most important part is to get some good powers as well. Disarmed is really good, but. Uh, especially against someone like Ezreal, I'm gonna have to try and close the game a bit faster, so... I think the correct play is to go for Fiora. And just recall whenever she tries to challenge anything from my board. So, yeah. Mm, yes, we in the opener is fine. I will keep homecoming, I will keep sparring student, because these two are pretty neat. Sentry is good. I forgot to equip skins again. Uh oh. But this is a good turn one. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, should be manageable still. I think I can maybe just go aggro this round. Kind of depending on what they do. Oh, yes, Christian Dragon with cost reduction. Not a fun. I could do Mr. Root into Recall. I won't have enough for Ancient, but that's fine. Oh yeah, that's... Okay, excellent. That's really good. And I can actually just Recall Mr. Root here as well. That's perfect because we also blank this and we get another draw and more, and more power. And I can even... Oh wait, I can do... Right, because it's for each unit. Okay, no, it's not for each ally, it's for each unit. And that's lethal, isn't it? Damn! 
that's a great showing. We already did like two encounters. The first one was probably the hardest and it made me think quite a bit, but this one was very straightforward. So, yeah, Ari seems pretty good so far. Ooh, okay, bo all of these are really nice. I think Concussive Palm is the correct choice. Because we can recall the tail and I don't need Novari Conspirator on their own. So I'm gonna go for the Palm. Let's see. Power Overwhelming, that's fine. Another one, okay. Let's see what we get in the shop as well. Uh, extra Spirit, not bad. I'm gonna roll this once. Uh, is there something else in the future? Okay, Citrus Courier might come in handy because I think you can get healing on cards and that might be very useful. Sadly, none of these are great. Guiding Touch is neat because it lets me draw. Um, but other than that, I do not know if I want anything from here. I think I'm gonna skip this shop in general. And I'm gonna save some extra money for other shops that might be down the road. Uh, let's see how we can deal with Swain. The upside is that Swain... The, the downside is Swain has a bunch of cards that I can't really deal with well. But I also but also has a bunch of cards that I don't care about. But that's not a good start either. Unless they don't have a one drop then that's cool. Okay, so uh, the upside is I can do concussive palm. Remember the objectives. Uh, okay, I will take damage here. Now the question is I still think I want to play it just to just to get faster in mana for Yone or other higher higher cost units. And I can do homecoming and deal with their stuff as well. So let's start with this. Okay, they don't play anything, so I think I'm free to just stand here and attack with everyone. Mm, that's fine, I would take damage here regardless, so... And if they block, I can... I can even Spirit Dance this to you, for example. Just those extra stacks. And I also don't get, give Swain any more leveling, which is great. Uh, this is an issue, though. So I think I should stun here first. Just to, just to avoid extra damage and then Homecoming on City Breaker. Uh, or I can even... Mm hmm. Tough decision. Because recalling here is good, because I can keep buffing up Sentry, they waste mana on the City Breaker, that does nothing, so... I might actually as well just do this. And avoid taking any unnecessary damage. I won't have any more mana for uh, the next round, but I think that shouldn't be a, that big of a deal. Mm, they will play Swain though, which is annoying. I can do Sentry into Concussive Swain and then just open attack with these fellas. And I think that's the correct choice. If they replay City Breaker, which I don't think they will... Oh, thanks for the disconnect. If they... Uh, yeah, I don't think they do any anytime soon. Yeah, and that's little. That's kind of interesting. They should have just blocked the the sentry. Okay. Some damage taken. Not bad. Not a bad fight though. Regardless, so that's not bad. I'm not getting any healing from this, which I need to remember. Will of Ionia is even with the fleeting part. I think it's worth picking it up actually. Shadow Shift doesn't really help even with Predict, so I will pick up this. And from Citrus Courier, I would like to gift. Mm, Zenotype Researchers, yeah. That's still extra free health, which is not bad. And it's a cheap enough unit that I can play on turn 3 or something like that, for, just for some healing. So I think I'll pick that up. 
And the question is, do I want to... I think I can survive Ezreal from 17. Let's see what we get. That's actually pretty decent. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, okay, extra healing. Yes, please. Windswept Hillock is not bad, but it doesn't have good items on it. And I it probably won't have, so... Uh, the Mourned... The Mourned is a one cost, which is also something to consider. This stuns when played, which is good. Um, interesting. I'm trying to think if I want this or not. I could maybe grab one, one or two copies. Or I could... Because drawing champions is always good, although Yasuo doesn't really win me the game right now. Uh, the Mourned... I'm thinking about the Mourned because it's a four, one mana 4-2 at minimum. And then if you hit something with the recall, it's not a big deal for this to actually just strike the Nexus recall and be replayed because it keeps enchantments. So maybe actually it is the Mourned angle. And then I will just grab one more palm because I'm at six right now. Yeah. Uh, the main issue is the, the determination. But I think I should be able to outspeed this Ezreal. At least I hope so. Okay, good opener. Wheel of Ionia is not useful right now. So let's cut that out for now. Okay, double concussive, so we definitely have health for everything, which is good. I'm on it. That's less good. I can learn from watching you. Okay, so they target this, that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. And they don't have another spell to follow up, which is good. This turn they will play Ezreal into Static Shock. So either wait... Or... A palm. Mm. Either wait and palm. I could wait and palm actually, yeah. The world's a big place. They are 0 6, but they will be able to block, which is annoying. Yeah, and they will kill this, but that's fine. I need to accelerate my mana and health right now, so. So I think doing this is correct. Oh, also. Okay, annoying. At least a little bit. Okay, so they don't cast anything, that's good. I'll just stun you, get more healing. I have a bunch of recalls, which is great. The Mourned is also great, so we're gonna probably do that. Okay, so they discard that. That's really good. I'm trying to think how to play this out. I think I should go Xenotype into Wind. Interesting I'll make a note. Or, okay, so let's do this for now. Get another stun, get another heal. Get more value for my back. Play the 5 force. And I think I can just open attack here. Yeah, even with the Wamp, it doesn't really matter. They will probably block the Mourned, my guess is. Oh, they don't. Interesting. Because now I can replay her with way larger stats. So yeah, that's as, as I thought, this was a good... This was a good pickup. Really, really synergistic with the rest of the kit. That's fine. I can draw quite a bit since my deck is already pretty well filled. I'm gonna stun already, actually. Uh, that's fine. They are at 4 right now, which isn't that many. Okay, that's good. The downside is that the Disciple is worse than I thought, so kinda sad. Uh, so I'm guessing my plan is to do this and then attack with the rest. Uh, 
Oh wait, I recalled everything. Oops. I have... I have forgotten. I mean, it's okay. I will get everything back and there isn't much that I need to worry about, I think. I lose like one damage or two, but I can just replay everything and it's fine. So that's 25. And now I can replay everything and just heal back or get my my things out back. And more stats. And they will probably, yeah, do this. And I can recall you in response, I guess. Or actually, maybe even you. The main issue is now that they have the advantage, but... Okay. Uh, okay, this is this is still doable. Because they are only 5 out of 8. Lifesteal is annoying, so maybe I should stun that before they attack. Or they won't attack at all. Okay, that's fine, too. Uh, Yasuo, that's... Oh, actually, Yasuo right now is very helpful. And that's a good plus 10 plus 10. Wait, what did I get? Oh, f double Xenotype. Damn. I should have probably not replaced the elusive though. Oh well. I think we can still do this in a well, in a good way. Uh, this is two. So I think I should do this first. Kill you. That's another Ezreal that I can not stun. Actually, wait, I can. So let's stun you as well. I think I should have just played double Arachnoid, but that's okay. Okay, so the correct attacks would probably be here, here, here. So probably like this. They will just block everything. But I can still get, but they will still get at least some damage in. And they won't get life still because I swap with Mr. Root. That I can now play, draw, see what we can get. Droplet is not great. Uh, stop having S reels all the time, please. Uh, let's replace you so you don't get killed. Okay, how many things are you gonna have? Uh, so let's replace you once more, stun you, just so that just so they can't level up this game. They could have leveled here, but AI is stupid, so that's something that I need to bank on sometimes. And then replay you, stun you, and now I can. I don't even need to heal from here. I can just I can just attack here and that will be fine. Oh, that's also pretty neat. It's okay, I will heal after this fight regardless, so it doesn't matter if I take some extra damage here or not. But yeah, the Mord. Clear MVP. And this is going decently so far, not gonna lie. Um, we also got some progress. So that's nice. Mm, healing. Probably just uh, pickaxe here. Let's see if we can get some good powers for, for the upcoming fights. Lookout isn't that good right now. I mean, it is a bunch of 2-5s, but none of this works well. Crash could be good. I think I should go Crash right now, especially after those last fights. Okay, Caitlyn seems to be the... Oh, no, 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 we are not going for Karma, that's for sure. Uh, what's in, like a new quest? Spells that cost free or less mana, that's cool. We're gonna go for Caitlyn. 
Uh, and crush will really come in handy here. Because, you know, uh, I can grow stats quite well with, with all of the abilities here and... Do I want to keep the maker? Probably not. I will keep the sentry though. And I keep forgetting to equip my stuff. I am bad. Uh... Ugh. Rude. It was pretty rude, not gonna lie. It's also kinda rude that since this transforms it doesn't keep any costs. Which is even more rude. Okay, the upside is that they got a worthless upgrade. So that's something I don't need to worry about. And that had Gloom as well, so that's nice. So I think the correct play is to just go Ari and attack. Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. Uh, never mind, I'm gonna stun this as well. And I think I'll just... Uh, open attack, recall the stun. One of the stuns at least. Yeah, kinda sad that this doesn't keep the cost reduction. This would have been a bit easier as well because of that. Oh, what a good combo, damn. They will probably trade one of them into Ari. Can I afford doing that? Or I... Hmm. Interesting conundrum. I think the correct play is to let Ari die and just stun these two right now. And then these will probably drag out... Oh, never mind, they just kill outright. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay, so just take damage, that's fine. So how do I win this? That's the question that I'm trying to ponder right now. The upside is they are not getting a lot of value right now. I don't even have challenger or anything, that's also a bit of a an issue. I could just play Yasuo but, and then just wait with stuns for the next round, start trying to kill off their units. Homecoming reduces Ancient to zero, which is also something worth considering. I could also just start with the student, wait for them to play something and then act accordingly. And I think that's always the correct choice. Oh no, not your pen. Uh, but I could even do a little bit of a trickery stun here. Okay, that's annoying. That's annoying, but I think I have to let it be. How many flash bombs? 11, okay. And now Shimon Wind. Okay, it didn't kill anything. And this is, and Caitlyn is stunned, so that's fine. The downside is I'll have to restun or, re or recall her again. And they do have some good traits on on my stuff, but I still think I need to start pushing in damage regardless. And I will get back my tutu, so that's nice. They are at 4, that's okay. I have a bunch of recalls, a bunch of stuns, uh, a bunch of things that I can block with. Okay, one missed, that's actually useful. Okay, so they will just... Okay. Rude. So I can play Yasuo into Droplet into Homecoming Recall Caitlyn. Or I can even just play Yasuo and have Concussive Palm up. Maybe I do have a future. Because they definitely will just drag out uh, Yasuo after I play him here. I also have Steel Tempest. I'm trying to think what's like the best way for me to make sure that I don't take too much damage here. I think Droplet is just guaranteed to be played and then maybe like stun here. And even though I kinda don't want the Droplet to die either, so maybe the correct choice is actually to do this. Because they don't have any 2 damage into, into an enemy unit. 
Okay, that's annoying because now Yasuo dies, but... But I can just win now, right? With, with just the droplet. Is that drinking the branches of my bones? <laughs> and this turn I can also just heal up back to back to the the full health. They do have uh, the damage removal, which I need to be wary of. But I can get back to most of my health as well. Do I just recall? Oh, they have. They don't have any more mana for the. Mm, let me double check. Because they shouldn't have enough mana for. Yeah, for Peacemaker. So I could sprite dance you into here. And just be at. And that's lethal. So, yep. Okay. I'll be at 18, but I think I can just heal up, like during the next fight. I was thinking about maybe stunning instead, and maybe pro and, you know, probably stunning there would have been better. Just put me back to 20 health, but I think this was also fine enough. None of this is great, but wallop is fine, especially discounted. Okay, what do you have? Unstable. Okay. I don't need money, so might as well... Huh... That's a really good homecoming then. I was considering maybe also getting the... Uh, what was the name? The, the early bird? But I think this should be good enough. And I also have wallop to, to deal with it. Uh, Zoe will be a 0-2. Thanks to, thanks to probably the, one of the better powers that I got, uh, which is disarmed. And I don't really want to play Ari yet as well. Okay, that's rude, so I might have to pass that. Not having challenger is also pretty annoying, but at the same time it's not that bad. What do you have? Goat, and you have Equinox. Okay. Let's stun. And we can wait and then we can attack here. Or just play something. Maker is decent as well. I could make her the trickster. Make her this. Uh... The forest surrounds us. And then I can wall up maybe this. Okay, they don't even okay. Interesting. Interesting. The question is what will they play from Moln Silver then? Oh, the fight. Ooh, okay. Some seek a path, others a foe. How'd you do that? That's something I need to consider. I can probably do this. <laughs> no, let me let me guess who this is, uh, and just keep wall up up for. Yeah, let let's just keep mana up for the next round. Because that four five will be a bit. Oh, they have two of them. Interesting. I can't stop this one though, so I'll probably just do this. Okay, that can also help quite a bit. Mm, so one of them will get stunned. That's the plan. Maker doesn't let me recall anything too big, but I can do this. Moonglow is also pretty annoying if they do this. They don't. Interesting opinion. Maybe I just wall up here and then take the four heal back with the Xenotype researchers that I can keep recalling. Maybe that's the correct play here. Yeah, this sucks a bit, but it's not the worst thing to happen. So the question is what would I want to recall with Ari? I think I can just open attack here, do this, and this trade without issues. Oh, they are even left at... interesting. So if I sprite dance you, for example... 
Do I want to sprite dance right now, or do I just want to deal damage, go to Zen with Xenotype researchers, and then just go from there? I think I do actually. And now I have another stun option here. I am Bastia. I could have also had little, but I think that's it's fine if I just do this right now. Things we do for a little insight. Uh I could even do maybe this. I have come for the unforgiven. Ari also has uh Okay, I think I should be fine right now here. I have a bunch of stuns, I have a bunch of things I can do. Stop playing! Fine. Let's stun you first. And then I can play Xenotype to get back to 17. What are they buffing? That's stun luckily, so... It's not a big deal. Question is how much can I heal from this situation? I think the correct play would be to recall researchers regardless, even if they go down to 1 and then replay them to 18. Because 18 is a safer place than... Okay, that's even better. That's lethal regardless of what I do, so... Okay, they, they will let me have it. Okay, nice. So... This has been a pretty good run. Uh, it's been a somewhat lucky, I'm gonna say. Not like very lucky, just good, good... It's just good enough at luck right now. Okay, that's great. Uh, because it will keep my buffs. That's interesting also. Can I get to Titanic Wake right now? With recalls? This does work if you... Hmm... I don't know if it's not... Bad idea to reroll. Oh, there's a... Sh okay, never mind. There is a... This shop here. And I think I can deal with Katarina as well. Scribe of Sorrows is great as well, but... Okay, so there are two options right now, and there is also Draven here, which is annoying. I don't think I have... I'm gonna reroll... I think... yeah, I'm not gonna reroll anything. And I'm actually going to get the wake, just... just in case I maybe, like, get some more items that let me... let me do some better stuff. There is also Sneaky Swap. The rest doesn't really interest me that much, there is the... Uh, Scales of the Dragon as well. But Dragon Protection doesn't really help me at all, so... And Yasuo with Perfected Mana Flow is an annoying fight. Katarina should be somewhat better? Ready for because I, sh I think I should be able to generate enough... Uh, to generate enough stuff for this fight. Let's see how this goes. They can play Katarina on turn 2, which I don't expect them to. Never mind, they will. It's okay, I can just play... Uh, play Ari, stun Katarina, and then they, will be, uh, they won't be able to do anything. Or they can just attack, that's fine as well. I did deal damage, so I'm I'm okay with that. No one gets in my way. Yeah, she will be buffed for this. this Never mind. Uh, so sparing student. No, they will play this. The main issue that I'm seeing is blade edges, but that's only yeah, it's that's only that. that. Mm, I can out heal them as well. I don't really have any access to stuns either, which is annoying right now. Well, I have Concussive Palm, but I don't know if I want to palm anything right now. 
I can also just attack and then stun here. Just generate mana, make student a bit larger, which doesn't matter much, but... Okay, the upside is I can do charm and just stun again. Saboteur is an annoying thing to be facing, but... Okay, that's great. Because I can either sprite dance... I don't need to sprite dance, I can just... Charm. Question is, do I charm with Ari or do I just charm in general? I think I just do charm. Doesn't matter where. Here and then get a stun off. And I can even do more dancing like that, but I don't think I need to. Uh, okay, they will just okay. They will just play their board. I think I can just yeah. I can just make a bigger board and be fine with this. And okay, so now the play I think I want to do is I can even level up Ari and maybe win this round. Can I? Because this will be yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's little good. And I don't need to heal because I'm at 20, so... Yeah, as expected, this was an easier fight. And then, then before, so... Shouldn't be that big of a deal. And yeah, that's little. Okay, so... Already a long episode. Already Ari is proving to be pretty strong, even on level 1 and 3 stars, so... Uh, that's a, that's. I wouldn't say I'm surprised, I would say that I'm just happy that this is a thing. Okay, concussive palm stuns. If I can get some cost reductions, that would be great. Cannon is here. None of this is great. Uh, I might as well pick this up, or maybe... I kinda wanna reroll this. Maybe get something better, like when I'm summoned, deal one damage. Okay, now we're gonna just get revenge. Fine. Uh, hmm. I can't get this. I can get a single spell force that doesn't help me. And the rest kinda sucks. So... We can cut out one card. The question is which one? Charm has been pretty useful. Student has been decently enough. Decent enough. Morn is good. Root is decent. The Maker probably is the weakest right now because the stats will just grow out of range of, of recall. And I don't have any items on her, so... This is probably the best deal. Draven time though. Uh, okay, so I don't fool myself. Okay, I'm good. I am good. Okay. Uh, decent opener. I'll, I'll just keep it. Mostly because I have not only I have a stun in the opener, but I also have a root. I have Ari. Uh, that's a stun angle, I think. Too slow. But yeah, in general, getting the Everfrost was actually a correct idea on this. So I think I should play it like this. Deal damage, get some recalls. Even if they get something, I have access to wheel, I have access to... Um, play you. And I don't want to lose the will, so I, so I have two options. I can either play battle, uh, recall Battlecaster and they will replay it, or I can recall Draven and they will get Draven back, which will give them death. And that's not a good idea, so... Let's do this instead. Even if, it's, if it doesn't really do much, I think this is correct. 
And on this turn... Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting, is that they will do Draven. They will give it a Midnight Raid, yep. I got wrecked by one Draven once. I think during a Nora run. So I don't want to get that experience again. So I'm gonna have to play it a bit slower. Which I think is fine in my opinion. Oh, that would be a great combo, but I don't think I can afford waiting. So let's do this. I'll do what must be done. I'll do what must be done. Kato. Okay, I can kill Kato if I do this, and I think that's worth it. Because Draven doesn't have Overwhelm yet. And that's lethal. Oh, they are one off. Rude. Could I have lethal if I did something else here? Probably not. My brain is telling me I probably didn't have it, so... Okay, I'm so glad I killed that. And I will replay the sapling, because the sapling is... Uh, will I have enough? Oh yeah, I will have enough mana to palm here as well. Do I want to though? I think I just prefer to get my board a bit thicker and then stun you and just in case block with the 5-4. Because otherwise I might have issues here. And let's replace you. And this should be little. Ooh. Okay, so... That has been a pretty wild run, not gonna lie. Getting to two bosses on this adventure is a good thing. And yeah, and just in case they have anything else, I would prefer to attack with everything. Okay, but we don't need to watch the animation. And I haven't equipped skins yet, so that's funny. Uh, let's finish. Okay. Good enough. I keep forgetting to equip the skins. Truly, this is a skinless diff. So let's see what we get this time around. Okay, guaranteed are in my opener, that's great. We still haven't found anything that will let me... And we got pretty bad choices, but... Uh, still didn't find anything that would let me get deal with Aurelion. But... It might be worth enough. I don't know if I want Bouncing Blades, probably not because it just clogs my up my hand. Probably Haunting Hall or Shield is the best option, but I think Hall is the better one. And we do have enough for this shop as well. So this misfortune has level... Oh god. Ugh, okay. Uh, if we get unlucky, this is where the run ends. If we get lucky, this is where the run flourishes, I guess. Uh, let's do a little bit of a Frost theme. And yeah, I don't have Yasuo skins. I never bothered. Uh, I think I can cut Yasuo and maybe keep Yone. I would prefer to have the stuns on hand. Okay, that's one. That's two. Okay. That needs to get stunned. I am not gonna let that happen. Uh, the main issue is that they will play Misfortune now. I think the correct play is to do this, deal 10. Recall, recall, get this out, they play this. And I think I pass here and then I wait to see what they play. Okay, I need to definitely stun that. 
because otherwise I will take a lot of Nexus damage. I'm already taking quite a bit Nexus damage from this attack, so... I'm trying to think what's the correct... If I do this, I lose 4. If I do this, I lose 10. If I lose this, I take 4 and then I can keep this stun up and just play Morned. Which I think should be the correct way I, I deal with this. Uh, play Morned. Play another Morned, maybe? I'm trying to think what's like the best way for me to win this fight. Yeah, I probably should just play double Morned. And then trade into that with the Sapling. That's 11. That's 16. The fact that I have both Concussive and Wallop in hand means that I'm pretty set. That's 16 and if I Concussive Palm that, that's 19. Question is do I want to keep the Concussive for the next round? I think I do. Does that keep the... Okay, it doesn't. It's that... It's not non-temporary buffs. Okay, so... Now I can just keep drawing, see what I can get. Okay, another stun. Okay, so I have some options right now. I have enough blockers, I have enough good stuff. Unless they play something that I can deal with, I should be fine. Oh, I can even... Yone here. That's fine. Uh, trade here. Even if Mr. Root dies, I'm fine. And then next round just open attack and double stun to heal back up to 20. Because I think that's lethal. There might be a chance that... It, wait, it is lethal because I can grab... Uh, yeah, it's lethal, okay. So if I do this, and this, this is lethal. I think I should, in case they don't play or do anything, I should do this regardless. Thank you for disconnecting, because this brings me to 20. Yep, okay, good. Heal back up to full, draw some cards. I completely forgot that I also get the uh, get the damage from yeah. Hallowed kind of kind of helped me with the <laughs> with the fritus. Okay. Naturally. Is that a spoiler? Who knows? I hope it isn't. Uh, Petal Pixie? No. Ooh! Okay, Ari is the goat right now. Hero's Horn is decent. I don't have sp elemental spells or skills, so that's useless. Okay. Mm. I will get this, though. Is there anything I want here? None of this seems like anything I would want, so... How many do I have already? Three. Do I want more? I mean, it is a two cost recall on anything, so I might as well go up to four. Does this even... Will this ever, ever come into play? I don't believe so, based on what I currently have. Mm. And none of these are great either. Like, Jewel Protector can give me stats, but it's still a 5 cost. Neverglade could work, but it's nothing 
major, so I guess not. Duplicate Gangplank and... okay. I am not beating Aurelian Soul, I guess, but... Uh, let's see how far we can go. This is this is this is how the the, the the video is gonna be titled. Level one Ari versus Aurelion, how far we can go how far can you go? Uh cut you out. We have homecoming, we have charm. I could have probably also cut charm out, but it's not a big deal. Also having free tools on, on summon is pretty nice. Uh, so the correct is you. Yearling, that's fine. Into Droplet, just don't have a... Okay, they just have more Yearlings. Drag one here. Okay, that's great. River, that's fine. I think this fight should be good for me. Should. Will it be? I have no idea. Uh, can I like... Yeah, I can trade this one, that's cool. Get you. Get the Morn as well. There are some issues here though that I'm gonna have to work to fix. So I think the correct play is to grab either you or you. Probably you. Get these two out. Get more attack. Because this gets plus... W wait, this gets plus one, so I think the correct play is to do this. Uh, and my entire board is dead because of this. Uh, that sucks. So let's keep Ari alive because I don't have another... What do you mean you have two of these? Uh. Okay, that's not good, because I don't have another Ari in my hand. And there is a 7 one that's staring me right now. So that's fun. Two of them. Let's start with this. The upside is that anything that attacks has plus 7 damage, which is good. But my ha okay, okay, yeah, I guess we lose here because of RNG. Uh, that's that's a shame. This is this round only, yeah. Can I play around this act somehow? So they are at seven. I could draw another Ari. That could help. Okay, they heal by free, that's annoying. Let's see if we can draw... nope. That's the Yasuo's that I don't need. And now I can double stun these two. I have come for the unforgiven. And then attack like this, drag, not you, you here. I don't have axe. Mm, this is not good. This is not good. Researchers don't help, but I can. Wait, I still have six mana. But they, they have. Oh, they have too many units. I cannot. I cannot deal with this. Sadly. Still. Still good run. Uh, got out RNG. Sadly. Yeah, that tends to happen. Still, GG. Uh, almost at the top. Well, almost at the top. Close enough to the top, I guess, I'm gonna say. So, the verdict is... You absolutely can, you just need a little bit of luck. And you can definitely get to Aurelian Soul. But 10 levels is fine enough. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. See ya!